Hi, I'm Mandeep Singh, founder of Mandeeps.com, and in this video we'll be working with our Live Exchange module. So let's get started. With Live Exchange, we can ask questions, share knowledge, crowdsource ideas, and build beautiful communities. Out of the box, there are three themes included: one for Q and A, which we see right here on the screen, uh, and uh, one for uh, crowdsourcing ideas uh, with custom statuses and then also a bug tracker application. Live Exchange is extremely flexible and can be configured in many ways. For example in the admin section we have the permissions and with granular permissions we can specify specific security rules that can ask questions, that can answer questions, uh, users that can comment, users that can change status of individual uh, questions, users that can accept answers. We also have the ability to specify whether the original owner of the question can change, stance, change status or accept their own answers. So this allows us to create a mix uh, of configuration options. So we could have uh, public submitting the questions and only uh, the staff or uh, your internal employees or private group answering, responding them, or accepting specific definite answers, vice versa. This this mix of flexibility allows us to create and adapt to many different business needs. There's also moderation built in, and it's extremely easy. Simply uh, enable moderation. We can moderate questions, so all new questions submitted will go through moderators, and we have a dedicated role there as well. Uh, that you can specify uh, for moderation and similarly we can uh, moderate answers and all individual comments uh, and replies. All questions can have uh, optionally statuses and these are great for your own business uh, requirements. For example if we're crowdsourcing ideas we could have statuses indicating if an idea is under review, if it has been accepted, it has been completed, uh, it's under community review. These are custom statuses, so you can create as many as you like to uh, to meet your business uh, logic. Uh, a default status basically gets applied to any new question that gets open automatically. We also have tags. These These are great for classification purposes, you can define them uh, through the admin section. You can also give them a description. Uh, alternatively, you can have under permission section allow the users to create their own tags. So as they're answering questions, they can build uh, and uh, expand onto communities by creating their own tags. It has great SEO functionality. Uh, we got all the basics covered. In addition to that, we got support for open graph tags, structured data, and uh, amazing, awesome, friendly URLs. It has support for social built-in, so you can add your social networking code to allow users to share their questions. Support for themes, create your own themes out of the box. We include a question and answer ideas and bug tracker theme, but you can always create your own and modify complete look and feel in addition to any of the front-end functionality. Great notifications built-in already uh, emails can go out uh, to keep everyone updated. Uh, tons of configurable options when to send the emails out. When new questions are asked, we send email out to all those have subscribed, all those have subscribed to matching tags. Uh, all the moderation emails uh, are configurable as well. Let the moderators know when new emails, there's new items pending their review and so forth. So great functionality there as well. Awesome search features are included as well. Full text search support is there. Um, you can enable that as well. We have ignore words and search priorities to optimize your search results. Lastly, Live Exchange is integrated with our help desk solution, the knowledge base, our upcoming live form solution, and self integration, which is awesome because it allows us to then go ahead and take a uh, existing idea and move it to let's say q a platform or take a question and move it to our live forms platform or take a question and move it to our uh, live knowledge base and create it, create an article out of it or let's say someone posted uh, in a q a uh, 
Q&A uh, module when it really should have been a ticket in our help desk so we can actually take that and create a ticket out of it into our help desk. We're going to keep this video short. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please download the module, evaluate it, give it a try or jump onto mandeeps.com, go to our community tab and uh, give this a spin at answers, discussions and ideas. Thank you so much for watching the video and have a great day.